Can wow, you feel the feel, kick, it, can you feel the kickback though compared to the DeWalt though? Yeah, but it, dude, it shoots good. It shoots good, but Wow, yeah, I can see your arm getting tired on that. Today's episode in Tools in Action, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Did they pay you so, for that shirt? Show my color. No. Yeah. Show us true colors. That's it. Guys, you probably saw this last year uh, when we were at the event, right? Did so we they talk take about it this? off since they didn't pay me for it? Oh, dude, show your body, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather show that than my boobies. <laughs> What's uh, up, you guys? The Milwaukee Nailers. Uh, these are two of the newer nailers out there. What do you think of them? Um, I gotta be honest, when we first got the first one, it broke on us, and I didn't really like it. It just didn't work well, and I thought that it was a, uh, you know, it was just that unit, obviously. Mm, yeah. I, I feel like it was a pre-production unit or something, because when you got these today, just using them, I mean, mm -hmm. they just seem a heck of a lot better. Um, I do like them. I think they're good. Um, you know, when you compare them to the DeWalt, I don't know, we're going to have a, you know, we're going to see which we like best between them. But, uh, you know, I know I did notice on the angle, though, there's a lot of kickback in your hand. Vibration. Yeah, like that, so yeah. I feel like, you know, it, it's not that ergonomic when it kicks back in your hand. However, that being said, it does pack a punch. It does lay down that nail every single time. Uh, it does have ease of use. Belt clip either side, bump mode, all that stuff. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, I don't know what to call it, but uh, crazy things going on on the internet lately between bloggers and, and showing these things off and, you know, how you operate them. Um, we're no experts by any means, but talking to the experts, I mean, basically, you're going to, this bumps fast enough for us, right? So if, if in the video in the beginning you saw us bumping, I mean, you're never going to bump more than that. Or you're never going to bump that long for, you know, through a battery pack or through a thousand nails. No. Do you know no. what I'm saying? Yeah. These no, units no. do have overload protection in them um, in case they do get heated up or anything like that. But most, I mean, you're not going to be doing, yeah, you're yeah. not going to be doing it. If you're doing finish work, like this is an 18 gauge, this is a 16 uh, angled. You're not going to be laying a piece of trim going bam, 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 walking down the whole thing that quick and all that. Right. So I mean, some do, be, some do, but the you're thing gonna is, be, but you're not going to be doing an entire room constantly like that. No, not I'm at saying. all. No, 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 no. I agree 100% with that. You know? um, so, but for what it is, yeah, I mean, there's some guys that just go bump, 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 but it's like three in a row and then the two rests, something like well, yeah, that. Well, I mean, you I know? Put a, if you're putting on a piece of like, you know, chair rail or something, pop one down there, pop one down there, then walk down the line and head it. You know right, what I mean? right. I mean, but, if some guy comes to my house and he's going that fast with a nailer like that, I'm kicking him out because he's not getting your quality of work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, do you, should you get a fuel brushless nailer? It's completely up to you. Um, you know, I'm biased a little bit because I do like the DeWalt ones. I know you like Milwaukee a lot. Um, if you have the Milwaukee M18 platform, yeah, you should definitely look into these. They're good nailers. Um, we talked about, did you talk about the LED light on the front? No, I haven't even talked about anything at all. It's just been you talking. Oh, no, just, <laughs> <Is it? laughs> just what? <saying. laughs> all right, we'll just leave. Uh, LED light on the front, you guys. So, um, you know, they're pretty cool. They're heavy. I don't know what the actual weight on uh, off the top of my head is, but um, it fires in just under 0 .08 seconds. Ready to fire. Mm -hmm. So, I, what did you say? Is a spring system? I believe it's, it's got to be like some type of spring system in there or something like that. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not I was sure impressed with the performance yeah. for sure. Um, you know, to me, I don't know. Here's what I okay. like about them is that two things I really like is the consistency. You can see when we're, we're hitting the nails in, yeah, they're very consistent. consistent. And I think that's something we haven't seen in a lot of the uh, finished nailers in the past where they may shoot the first three or four consistent, then it kind of falls off, or it's just like that. These have been very consistent. I like that. I also like the fact of the button in the back. You have to hold it on for a couple, I don't know, maybe three to five seconds to turn it on. So if you do throw it in your bag and you end up leaving the battery on there and you hit a bump in the road or something, it's not like they're just going to turn on, you're going to drain your battery. Um, another button put, you can do it from bump to sequential. So it's just the easy use. Jam, clearing a jam out of here is a piece of cake. I mean, you can see with the overlay. So it's nice. So I just like to use it, you know. Again, the other thing too, very easy to read how many nails you have left in there. It does 7. have dry. 7.2 pounds on that one. Yeah, it does have dry lockout, so you're not going to be sitting there 
trying to, you know, bang a bunch of nails in there and ruin your work. So. And Eric's right. It's, it all boils down to quality of work. I don't mm -hmm. want a nailer that's unreliable. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but when I'm doing a home project and I'm putting a cord around, I hate when a nailer doesn't nail it down all the time, yes. you know, or it's inconsistent with its nailing. Well, and it's a time waste, too, because then you got to come back with your punch and pop it down in there, so. Right. Uh, a couple stats on this, you guys. I'm just going to read it right off the box. Uh, excuse me for doing that. Uh, it does one and a quarter to two and a half inch nails, 20 degree angle, holds 110 nails, the sequential and the bump mode, mm -hmm. like Eric said. Uh, bottom load, and it could do three nails a second, and it's 11.9 inches long. And that's for the angle nailer. What about you? No, no, I, I got to read, dude. No, right there now you're putting end. me on the spot, man. I can't read. Uh, this is 18 gauge, 5 eighths to 2 and an eighth. Uh, 100, holds 110 nails, again, sequential or uh, bump. Um, I, three nails a second. And this one weighs seven pounds. 11.4 inches long. I do like this system right here. This is easy to grab. It's not tight yes. like some. Yeah. I know some are really tight. Yeah, you that's you true. almost Good have to point. get a screwdriver yeah. in there. Good point. Comes with a bag, you guys, a charger and a 2 0 battery. Uh, you know, you could obviously use a 5 0 if you want that extra long run time. But to be honest with you, I mean, no nailer is going to need 5 0 batteries for these. For, no, I mean, after the day. No. Yeah, I mean, you, these things are just not framing. Different story. Yeah. If this it, one does 800 nails per charge. So I'd imagine this one does, this does 1,200 nails per charge. I mean, that's a heck of a lot of nails to throw on in a day. Right. And, uh, you know, you guys, there's a, we have a lot of pros in our audience, and you guys know that, you know, these things are not race cars. They're not designed to, no, they're not, yeah. you know, just go crazy till the tool dies. That's not what it, if it was a drill, yeah, maybe. Mixing concrete, something like that, yes, we would yeah, overload true. it. But, you know, this is just all about quality of work on this tool, I think. So, mm -hmm. And I think Milwaukee did do a good job with that. The tool itself is pretty ergonomic. Um, you know, the plastic's a little... That, you know, feels a little weird to me. But other than that, I mean, I definitely think they're a good quality tool. It's going to give you quality work. So if you're a carpenter, definitely this is going to be a professional tool for you. You're going to be able to, you know, leave a quality job behind. When yeah, you're done. I mean, it would be the one thing I'd like to see. I don't know really, but some of the plastic sticks out. It'd be nice to have a little bit of rubber there for like no mar protection. So if you're doing yeah, like that, the other side around and you throw, you know, and you're placing it on the ground and then you accidentally, you know, kick it with your knee and slide. Yeah, because usually when you cut around, you're doing a floor. Yeah. You just did a wood floor. You know, you want to you want to lay this on the floor. You want as much rubber as possible. I mean, obviously your belt clip's going to scratch the heck out of it. So it'd be nice to see a lot of rubber on one side. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, you guys, I think Milwaukee did a really good yeah. job with this nailer. Um, you know, we're going to put it up against the DeWalt, and when we say put it up, it's not going to be a crazy speed bump test or anything like that. We're just going to go over it, compare the two together, yep. do a little bit of bumping, and see, you know, what has the most consistent uh, drive of nails. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll show you guys. That's what Tools Next is all about, you guys. We're not experts. We're not anything like that. You guys are the experts. We'd like to hear your comments. Comment below. Let us know what you guys think of these new nailers. And uh, hashtag TIA crew. Tools in action. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.